Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Local Stoic here with another top 11 video Nova FC in the Mexico event. This event is put on by top 11, I guess, in celebration of something that's happening in Mexico. I'm not too sure what, but, or I guess they just wanted to show, represent the Mexican fans or the Mexican fan base but whatever the reason is it has so far been a wonderful event for me the first match we won this one quite easily um, winning the match about 4-0 if I remember correctly the second match was a little bit tougher but we did go away um, with this match 2-0 I think third match we also of course won we got a player on loan um, which we'll take a look at in a second and then the most recent of this match we did get a six star attacking midfielder so we have won a few things in the Mexico event O'Connor he is the attacking midfielder that we won in the most recent event he is quite skilled his creativity I'm looking forward to seeing that in play of course our lone player that we got from the match prior to that one still unable to unlock him also our most recent signing Stefano Butero still he's actually the one that we bought first but I still haven't signed him yet because I thought it was more important to sign Kojo which was our other signing that I signed about the same time and as well O'Connor for our most recent intake so we did sell two players Vargas was gone as well as uh, I forgot who it was oh wow <laughs> but Vargas was gone as well as Simos, no, Simos's cousins, Medina. Medina was the person that left to make space for Botera and Kojo. Vargas also left to make space for O'Connor. Anyways, we go back to the event now. We are about to take on the other opponent with our new team. We are going with a 3-1-4 two formation of course defensive mixed passing short passes zonal counter attacks are on offside is off offside is on sorry and pressing style low pressing style let's get into the match right away without further ado we are going to go as far as we can in this competition I think if we win this match, we get a seven star rated player and that would just do wonders for our season. Nova FC is really under pressure this season. Our conditioning is not that great. So of course, we'll start with defensive positioning bonus for this one. Yeah, Nova FC is under a lot of pressure this season and we need to improve the squad. In these matches, I try my best to play around with team formations and see how goal. Wicked! That is a wicked goal. Well played, Nova. Well played. I try to play around with formations to see how best I can use the squad that I have. He's going to take a far shot. Don't allow him to take it. Oh. He tried to make the through pass. Okay. Poor decision on his part. We caught him in the offside trap there. Whenever you're playing with a three at the back, three defenders, it is very, very good to play with the offside trap on because it is a lot easier to get caught out in that, especially if the other team is playing with a substantial amount of attacking players. It doesn't work well with a 4-3-3 three, three though. I've noticed that. We don't do well at corners either. 
<clears throat> oh wow, they are playing a 4-3-3. So it doesn't do well against these. So hopefully they don't, we don't get caught out. Try to keep possession of the ball, guys. Good. Kojo. He's pretty old, so. Wow, taking long shots now. Is that what we're doing? Veyer is running tired already. Wow, it's not even 30 minutes yet. Let's maintain composure, guys. Get some volume going. Ballas with a far shot. Blocked. Let's try to play out on the wide. Let's play out, Let's play out wide. Spread the play, guys. Spread the play. Good passing. The only disadvantage I have with this formation is that it's very static. I can't rotate my players very much because they play one position each and I can't drop any deeper or move any across because of the varying positions being Huntley and Rakovitz. So that's the only thing I can say that is a disadvantage to using this particular formation. In that I have to make substitutions in order to change how how my players play. Half time, one nil up. Nova FC can't complain about that. Cannot com cannot complain about that. I mean, the match is intense. You can feel the tension in the stadium. But we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's maintain our composure and not concede any goals. Maybe try to get another one. Again, by playing out wide. The wide players, left back and right back, don't seem to be that great. I know Rakowitz, a special soul there. Yes, there is one little cheeky thing that I can do to change the play a little bit. One cheeky little thing that I can do. Let's see if it works. It's very careless though because it leaves me very wide open on the right hand side. But if I do get away with the counter attack, it should work wonders. Especially seeing that I'm playing down the flank. That's how we mix that. Okay, I need to make some substitutions. Players are running very tired now. Very, very tired. There, Balaz Rakowitz coming right up, sir. What substitutions will I make? No. Pilar. We get to four. Right here. And then, what's happening? What's happening? Do we get a counter attack? No. Oh no, we get one back. That's what happened. We get one back. Let's cancel that. Definitely need to make the substitutions though. Yeah, 
Right. Yeah. Let's move you over there. Switch to, switching to a four at the back. One. Let's get Pilar in there. Brissette. Defensive solidity there. Let's drop you back some more. And there we go. One who drops deep as well. Connor might need a substitution soon. So 4-1-3-2 is what we'll be playing to end the match. Hopefully, we'll be able to take it to penalties or get one back before. Many, many substitutions. Keeping there on. Big risk. Big, big risk. But who would he go on for? Settle. Come on, guys. Let's get one last counter attack going. Why aren't we going forward faster than this? Don't swing it in. That never works. It never ever works. That never ever works. Okay guys, we got it to go to extra time. This is an intense match. We got it all the way to extra time. Let's see what magic we can create here now. Let's see what magic we can create here. Let's keep possession of the ball, guys. Let's not give up possession so easily. I think switching to a three at the back might... Ooh! What a goal! From our defender! I was just about to say switching to a three at the back does not sound like such a bad idea. But I think, I think we might be on to something here. Let's keep this going. We might be on to a counter attack here as well. Oh, looking good. Not so good anymore. Okay, Veer could really use a substitution, not gonna lie. Let's get him off the pitch. And that's how we'll finish the match. Three at the back. Defensive. Three, four, three, one, one. That's our play. That's our play and continue to play down the wings, of course. Wow, Kodra and Rasmussen having a wonderful passing time. Slowly moving the ball up the pitch. Slowly. Oh, slowly they took it. <laughs> Let's get my defensive bonuses going. Come on now. Moving it up down the flank, slowly but surely. Long shot. Close. Very, very close. Let's mix it up, get our midfielders in. No, won't save. Okay. 
just might snipe this one guys yes that's what i am talking about nova fc clutching in the end to capture after extra time i can't even pronounce their names the win against the mexican team the mexican event is being dominated by nova fc the novites are out and the novites will win thank you guys for watching this video this was an intense match i hope you tune in to another one oh but wait what fans what prize did you get though six months